Hey y'all, this is Frank. Frankie here, and this is my last day at the campground. I am going to Hey, good people. I'm getting ready to start a campfire. They gave me this. I guess the people from like a church, the people, uh, people with disabilities, they make this. They put like some candle wax in it and some like um, tissue paper and they shred it, I guess. And they make this. So I made a donation to the group and this should help you start your fire. She also recommended the campground clerk recommended that if we didn't have this you could get like an old toilet paper roll and stuff like the dryer fabrics in there to start a fire so i'll be back in a minute to let y'all know if i successfully started a fire it's been a minute y'all but once you get it once you learn to ride a bike you never forget so i'll be back to let y'all know if i got this fire started Hey, this is Frankie. I did a pretty good job with my fire, but actually I can't take all the credit because the little thing that I bought, the little um, candle thing that I bought, is really what got this fire going. So I'm overwhelmed that it turned out really, really good. Oh my goodness. I couldn't ask for more. This is like what van life is all about. Just like peace and harmony. Let me see if I can get up from the chair. And uh, there's B, y'all. I got my water out on the table. And, um, yeah, this is my last night at the campground. Um, I would have did a fire before this, but it rained one night. The first day I got here, it rained. Then the second day, it didn't rain. But it was, well, the next couple of days, it didn't rain, but it was supposed to rain. So, when they say a chance of rain, you don't want to light a fire. So, I didn't. But today it, it was supposed to rain today too but it didn't and i just lit this campfire so oh yeah take the dray wrap hey everybody this is frankie that raccoon is on our, at our campground he's got it covered look at this oh my goodness oh my goodness i need to move out his way look at that raccoon raccoons are so bold they are so bold. He will not move. He, you could look at this. He will not move. He is in a standoff with the camp man. Oh my goodness. Can y'all see this? This is absolutely crazy. He is in a standoff. He is in a standoff. That's why I got, I could never sleep in the tent. I'm going to park here. I can never. Sorry. I'm being nosy. Look at him. Is he dangerous? You better not get out. Move out. Okay. Oh. Uh-oh. Oh, uh -oh. Ooh, y'all. He got rabies. Oh, my goodness. Oh, y'all. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. They got a sick raccoon. Yeah, this is why I couldn't sleep in the campground. This is why I could not sleep, sleep in a tent. This is why I couldn't sleep in a tent. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. And this is why I have not, y'all, walked out around here yet. Is because I have to drive around and get a feel for, like, you know, with me having dog anxiety, it's the dogs on a leash. You know, different things like that. Just kind of getting to know, getting a feel for people. I had met this lady yesterday and she was real nice. Well, me and her got to talking for a minute and uh but yeah i had to get a feel for the area that i'm in when i came here i had been to a couple of campgrounds and um i had been to a couple of campgrounds and a couple of them i had went to a koa and you know koa they generally pretty nice or whatever but i i wasn't feeling it and i really here come here come the sheriff here come the sheriff for that, that raccoon. Got the gloves on. There she go. There she go, y'all. And so you got to really check your surroundings. In this day and age, you have to really get a feel for where you're at, especially if you're traveling in a van or an RV. I talked to, um, when I came up to the front desk 
here at this campground. I just drove up. Like, I didn't know if I would like it. I had been to several campgrounds prior to coming to this one. And so the lady, it was a couple, and her and her husband was in there, and they were really, really nice. Oh, this is the exit. And so I got a good feel. She said, here, you know, just, you know, this is, I said, y'all got any bears? I said, am I welcome? Cause you know, you got to ask. I don't, I don't play none of that hate stuff, you know? And they were really, really nice. They just made me feel like, you know, hey, this is the place. And last night, even though it rained, I had a real cozy sleep, just felt comfortable, you know, everything. And that's important because that's why I don't think I would go on BLM land because, you know, I, I like to feel safe. I mean, I know we all do. But you have to really check out your surrounding. And people say, well, in this day and time, but it's always been like that. You always had to check out, you, you know, your surroundings. My mom right now, she's sick and she's worried. Not only is she sick, but she's worried sick about me. I got family members, they worry sick because you know, you got to be on guard. You got to really, people, you know, I, I'm, I'm of the belief that a lot of people, I know I got good energy, so I know a lot of other people do too, but you do have to, you know, <laughs> you do have to, um, you know, just, just check your surroundings, keep your guards up, you know, and everything like that. I am on my way to get me some ice. They have ice at the campground, but I'm probably going to get some gas and some ice. Um, I'll just go for a little drive. I want to walk. Um, give me a little walk. I've seen people walking up this road here. I mean, I like a good road to walk on. But, um, I don't know where I will park. Like in the campground. Oh, oh the car. Oops. Yeah. Oh, oh bye. Oh.